What's up guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to do something super fun. We've got a table and we've got a bunch of paper. To be specific, we actually have 7,500 sheets of paper. We may not need it all, but we are doing a little experiment today to see how well paper holds up to the test of bullets at different calibers. So in each of these boxes, there is five reams. A ream is 500 sheets of paper. So. 5 times 5 is 2,500, 2,500 per box times 3 boxes, we're looking at 7,500 sheets of paper. And I have no clue how many sheets of paper it'll take to stop a bullet, but that's why we're here today, to figure that out. Also, I have rigged up this little contraption to be our little backdrop to hold the paper up. Maybe it's a stroke of genius, maybe it's a stroke of stupidity, we'll find out. But, this is what we're going to do, shoot into that, hopefully this will hold it in place. That's why I made that, hopefully it works. And, uh, let's see how this goes. First off is 22LR bullets. So first on the list for today, we're looking at these 22LR bullets and uh, shooting out of my Ruger 22 bolt action rifle. And let's see how this goes. Currently we have 500 sheets of paper up there. Let's see how this handles it. So here we go. We have our entry hole right there and no exit hole. Did not make it through 500 sheets of paper. Let's tear it open and see if we can find that bullet in there. Ah. So it's still a little bit warm. This is the fragment of our bullet that I found lodged deep in these papers. It went through maybe half of those 500 sheets of paper, so let's say 250. So in an effort to conserve paper, we're gonna shoot at this again. This time we're stepping up to nine millimeter and uh, hopefully it stays there and hopefully nine millimeter may go through all of this. Now we're stepping it up to nine millimeter. These are nine millimeter, 115 grain, full metal jacket bullets. And uh, let's see what happens. I hope these go through all of them. Let's check out the damage. Entry hole right there. About halfway, we're still going through. That's some exit holes. Uh, does not look like it went through all the way. Wow. Maybe it did. We're still going through here. Still going through. Let's just skip all the way to the end. And it went through all of that. And all the way into the wood at the backstop did not go through there, it does not look like. So it's stuck inside of this wood right here. So nine millimeters able to go through 500 sheets of paper. Let's step it up. We have another 500 and let's go to 1,000. Let's see if we can go through 1,000 sheets of paper. Now 1,000 sheets of paper with the nine millimeter. So inspecting the damage, there's our entry hole right there. Slip to the rear of the first and that is the bullet right in there. Let me see if we can dig that out. Looks like it hit the second group of 500. Maybe just broke open a couple pages. Did not enter that. So we can keep that for later. And here is our 9mm bullet. Let's get a knife out. Try to dig that thing out. So this is our broken up 9mm bullet. Went through pretty much just about 500 sheets of paper, so we're going to mark 9mm down for 500. And since this sheet of 500 is still intact, we're going to keep that there, move it to the back, and put our fresh pack of 500 right there in front. So a 9mm bullet made it through about 500 sheets of paper, about 250 more sheets than the 22LR bullet. Now we're stepping it up again to our 10mm bullet. This is a 180 grain FMJ bullet, 10 millimeter, shooting out of our Springfield XDM-10. And uh, let's see if this can go through more than nine millimeter. I hope it does. It's got a little more oomph behind it. It weighs a little more, but it's probably going about the same speed. So we'll, we'll find out. So checking out the damage, we knocked over the first pack of 500. There's our entry hole. And we do not have an exit hole. I'm very confused. It looks like it is lodged inside of there somewhere. So, time to tear it open and find that bullet. Oh, 
Oh my God. Well, there is our 10 millimeter bullet right here. It's still very warm from the friction and all smashed up to pieces, but that is our 10 millimeter bullet after going through not even 500 pages. It made it through, we're gonna say 400 pages. 400 pages is how much that made it through. And we're gonna try this one more time. We're gonna put a fresh sheet in the back and put this sheet with the bolt hole from before in the front and uh, shoot a 10 millimeter at it one more time just to verify our results. So this is 10 millimeter going at it again for the second time just to, act, just to verify our results and make sure we're accurate and scientific as always. And here we go, we have our entry hole right here. Oh, wow. And here's our bullet right there. So it looks like it broke through that first set of 500. And uh, there's the bullet. It entered our second 500 and maybe went in about 50 to 100 pages and then bounced back out. Wow, that bullet is almost intact. So here's our 10 millimeter bullet, almost intact right here. As you can tell, it's a little bent up, but uh, that is after going through 500 sheets of paper. So I wish I had a bigger caliber. Maybe we'll be getting that one day soon. But uh, for now, 10 millimeters is the biggest caliber we've got. So to answer the question, how many sheets of paper does it take to stop a bullet? I would say the answer is about 500, maybe a little more. So hypothetically, if someone wanted some really cheap body armor and they couldn't afford actual body armor, honestly, you could pull one of these moves. 1,000 sheets of paper to the chest, strap it around your body, and it might work. Honestly, I trust it. So thank you for watching. And uh, we have a lot of paper that I guess we can return because we didn't use much of it. But uh, with that, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to see more videos like this, stick around, subscribe, maybe leave a comment down below with any suggestions. Leave a like on the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.